We do want to bring in Susan Samples, investigative reporter from our Grand Rapids station, WOOD. It's great to see you, Susan. And, and I know you've been uh, tracking this mystery since the very beginning. What does this confirmed sighting mean, if anything, in this investigation? Well, I mean, we hope that it's good news, right? I mean, for one thing, it means that they were okay on Monday morning. And certainly, we hope that is still the case right now. But, I mean, who knows beyond that? Because... As you know, I mean, the UP, there's so much country up there. And the police chief has told us, you know, they're not aware of this family having any connections to the UP, so they don't know where to look up there. But initially, when we learned of this sighting at the at the gas station this morning, or on Monday morning, we heard about it this morning, we, everybody was really happy that they seemed to be doing okay at that time. But who knows, given, you know, the the way that he was behaving on, I think that started Saturday night. The family said that he started um, expressing some concern and what they said was maybe um, uh, paranoid delusions to some degree. So it's so hard to say. And, and, and that's so vast up there, where to look. And, right. and I appreciate you uh, providing that color and the understanding of the geography and what it is like up there. At this point, what is the best lead that police have to go off of? It seems like potentially the trail went cold days ago. Indeed. I can't, I don't know. Isn't that, isn't that terrible? I really don't know. I think this is just a huge mystery and, and I think they don't, they don't know where to go. I mean, hopefully the phones, but the, the police have said that the phones were turned off and it, it just seems that no one knows. I mean, I don't, I don't know of a good lead. We have a reporter obviously um, up in Fremont right now, but I have not heard from him in terms of, of any fresh leads or any new information. I know some of our viewers have been asking, why is this a missing person's case, uh, when even the gas station clerk who saw the family say that it just looked like they were on vacation? Any insight into that? Well, it's just the mental health piece of it. I mean, of course, when, and, and you played the 911 case earlier, and it, which is so disturbing because it, also because he's so calm in that 911 call right, I mean right. there's no no frantic or anything which almost makes it even more concerning as if there's some resolve there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like I know I, I I know what's going on I know what I'm doing and I've got my plan Absolutely. you know so I, I just think that kind of paranoid talk about 911 and something bad's gonna happen I mean <laughs> That can't be a good sign. So, no, I don't think anyone is going to stop looking until they figure this out. All right. Susan Samples, appreciate your reporting. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.